What's up, YouTube? Heart Media, T Heart here, back with another tech review. This time I'm doing the full review on the HP Omen 15 4800. Uh, as you know, I use my equipment for uh, video editing, mainly for YouTube. Um, which I've been using the HP Omen. I have the 30L and the 15 for such reasons. And um, so now I'm doing a full review on this uh, 15. So I'm going to jump right into it because I have a lot of things to go over. I don't want to waste a lot of, or well, use up a lot of people's time. I'm not wasting it. If you're into tech reviews and you want to know more about this computer, here you go. So this is my review on this uh, HP Omen 15 uh, laptop. So I'm just gonna jump right in. So one of the first thing I wanna point out is that the, um, I don't know, well, let's fix this. Let's move this back a little bit. Okay, that should put us in, in spot. This edge right here, it's pretty sharp. I mean, it's not going to cut you sharp, but it's sharp. So when you're, you know, doing this and your hand may be laying across it, you know, like this, that, that sharp point tends to bite into your hand right here. Um, I don't know how other people may use a touchpad, but I tend to rest my hand right there and, and use my, my fingers. You know what I mean? No pun intended, but uh, that that sharp edge tends to kind of cut into. When I say cut, I don't mean make your skin bleed. It it, it digs into the side of your hand. Uh, that was a that was the very first thing I noticed uh, upon using it uh, because it was pretty much instant when it started uh, digging into my hand like that. So you want to be kind of um, cautious. Uh, note about that next thing uh the fan even though it's now just ear blistering loud when it kicks in when you're really doing something it tends to be a little loud uh and you'll notice it'll come on you'll kind of hear it then it'll speed up then the, the more you're working which i'll probably it'll probably happen when i do the little 4k edit i'm going to do on here um See, it'll speed up, then you hear it speed up some more, then it'll hit like a turbo mode, and then after that, it'll kind of go back down, and then it's back off. So the fan can be a little loud at times, um, especially if you're really doing something where the computer feels like it's using a lot of processing power. Um, so when I first bought it, took it out the box, turned it on, which you may have seen on the video that didn't get as many views as I like it would, which I'm going to get in that in a minute. Um, the screen resolution wasn't that great, but what I found out was it's going to take an update when you first buy it. Uh, once it takes that update, it does a display um, driver or adapter update and then when you when it's, once it's done and you go in there and change it you get the full um, display settings so it looks better way better after you take that update so if you buy one make sure you take the update or, or get the update for the display or else it's going to look kind of kind of grainy um, also on the updates it has a lot of updates when you first buy it so it's going to take you know depending on your internet connection mine is pretty fast it still took about you know 20 minutes all in all before everything was done and said because it'll take one and it'll restart and it'll take another one restart and that's just kind of how it went not a bad thing but it's just a lot of updates so if you have a slow internet connection you're going to be doing that for a while uh, also this top panel here um, I don't know if you if it's coming up in the video but you can kind of see my fingerprints on the on the edges over here uh, so this even though it's not glossy 
you would think, oh, it's not going to be a finger prick magnet like a glossy outer shell would be. Well, that's technically not true. You can still see those fingerprints on it. I mean, I don't have super oily hands, but you can still see those fingerprints on here. So, don't think just because it's flat, it's not going to pick up fingerprints. It will. So, I wanted to mention that. And I'm sure they probably wipe off real easy. I just haven't wiped it because I wanted to show that. That it can pick up fingerprints even though it's a matte uh, outer shell here. Anywho, getting back to it. And like I say, I'm just kind of breezing through these things that I have my notes on or whatnot. Ugh, didn't really want to. It's okay, I'll just do this. <laughs> and we're back. So, that's that. I also got some comments from the last video. People were asking me to show some things. So I'm going to look on my, my phone here. One guy asked, does the screen wobble when you type? Does it bother you? I haven't noticed that issue. Uh, the screen, I mean, like I said, this is a gaming laptop. So if you're gaming and pressing buttons real hard, you know, trying to, you know, beat whoever, you call of duty, whatever you're doing, it may wobble. But I'm on a flat, hard surface. This is an island in my kitchen. No wobble here. And I'm, I'm mashing down on it. Nothing. So that all comes into play with what you have it sitting on. If you're on your lap with your laptop and you're banging on the keys, maybe you may get some screen wobble. Um, I've never had that issue because I always sit it on something flat and sturdy. Uh, the next question the guy asked me to review the HP uh, Command Center. Uh, not sure why, but I'll go into there. And um, take a look, see. And you get this whole little thing open up. Now, again, I don't game on here. So, all this gaming stuff, I don't really care about it because I have a PlayStation for that. PS5 is coming out. I'm sure I'll get that. And um, what I mainly use the command center for on here it's more so to see what's going on with my temps and other things like that i've used this laptop very hard just to try to test it out had youtube running on one screen davinci running on another side uh, the npc software open and it just took it temp stayed good but then the fan did kick on and that's why you heard that fan going up and down and cooling off and shutting down no issues there uh, you got your network booster up here uh, of course you can monitor your internet speed and what's using internet and whatnot to help speed up your Wi-Fi lightings for the keyboard you can adjust you know what colors you want the keyboard um, I have mine just set to what it, what it came with, or I may have set it red, I'm not sure. Then you have your performance control. Well, go back to lighting. This doesn't have the, um, the activity, like the HP Omen, like it doesn't have the scenes, you know, the lava and, the, or you can make it do something. It's just static colors in case anyone was wondering. Of course, you have your performance here, fan speed, so you, you can set it for performance for gaming. It increases heat and noise. Mine is on default because I'm not, you know, doing all that. Gives your temps here. I have it set to Fahrenheit so I know what they are. I'm, I'm not a, overseas, so I'm not using Celsius. So that's that. Hope that helps someone who hadn't seen it. Another guy asked, does it have any heating issues after using the laptop for a long time? My answer to that would be issues, no. Does it heat up? Yes. 
Uh, especially if you're doing something that's intensive, you know, like DaVinci Resolve or maybe playing a, a, a high graphic game, it does heat up and the fan does come on. It hasn't caused any issues, but I'm sure the bottom of it gets hot, but that's why I normally keep mine on a surface like this, my desk. I don't r like sitting my laptops on you know, beds with comforters and sheets and stuff like that where it can't get get air up under there. So I keep mine on a surface like this for that reason. Um, if I had to sit on a bed and use it for a little while, I mean, I would, but I would be cautious to, you know, lift it up or maybe sit a book on the bed just to try to give it some air up under there, especially if I'm going to do something that's really using the CPU. So no heating issues, but it does heat up. Okay, somebody else is asking about the fan noise when it's idle, like browsing and streaming. The fan ramps up, gets loud, it does. He said even on light load or it stays quiet. Now, what I've noticed over time, the, the time I've used it, if you have it sitting here, like you may hear now the fan is on. It just kicked on recently. I don't know if we can pick that up and out. But the fan just kind of kicked on. It's cooling it off. So the goal on this laptop from my studies is that it's trying to keep it cool as possible. So the longer it's on, of course, it's going to heat up. The more you use the CPU, the more it's going to heat up. And you're going to get that fan interaction to come on and try to cool it off. So... You may be doing something on one at one point to where it's using the CPU and the fan hadn't kicked on yet. You stop that, go to Google and just browse and now the fan kicks on. So you're thinking, oh, why is it kicking on when I'm just browsing when I was just playing a game and it wasn't even on? Well, that's because it was hot then, had, hadn't got to the temp where the fans kick on. Now you're doing something else and it's hot, so it's kicking on. It's not what you're, it may not be what you're doing now that makes the fan kick on. It may be what you were doing to make the fan kick on. That's what I kind of noticed over time with mine. All right. We are breezing through these things. And I think that was pretty much it. So now I'm just going to do a quick review while I got you guys here. Um, I love this thing. Um, like I say, the, the, the fan is the issue. The screen wobble while typing is not an issue, but like I showed in the unboxing of this, the, the flex of this screen is real borderline sketchy. <laughs> and also I talked about this before. I mean, this thing is, is very, it can flex real easy. So, and I also said this part is very thin. If you were to drop something heavy right here, I wouldn't be surprised if it broke the screen or, or, or broke this because it's, it's very weak right about here. So you want to be real mindful about not something heavy hitting it or landing on it or maybe even you piling something on top of it right here. It could possibly do some harm to the screen. So I got um, my DaVinci Resolve loaded up here. Like I said, I bought this to do my video editing. Well, I don't know, it's right here. And um, so if I want to do my videos on the go, I got it here available. Um, I'm trying to do this from the other side of this camera. It's a little difficult, but we're going to work it out. There I go. So this is actually my second time doing the edit on this uh, on this laptop here. Okay, the video I have loaded up is one that I'm going to put out with this one, reviewing the Samsung uh, Buzz Live and the Bose SoundSport earbuds. 
So. What's going on, YouTube? Oh. Hard Media, TR here, back with another tech review. Yeah, that. What I'm reviewing right now is the Bose Sound Sport. Yeah, that, that volume is loud. <laughs> now, another thing I noticed that I don't like to adjust the volume, you have to hold the function, press the volume down, up, mute. Same thing for the brightness of the screen, you have to hold function. Minor, but other computers, you don't have to do that. You just press it without having to hold the function. You know, it's minor, but I don't like it. But I can get over it. This video here, um, I'm just going to edit some of it. I'm not going to hold you guys up too long. Just show that this laptop can edit on DaVinci Resolve. This video is not in 4K. Um, I believe it may be 2.7 or 1080. I'm not really sure. So yeah, let's just look at some of the, let's see if the, how those 3Ds work. You know, I always try to go to those while I got the, I probably shouldn't. Oh, jeez. There we go. What's going on, YouTube? Yeah, they still work kind of, kind of shaky on here. I didn't expect them to work to perfection on this laptop, but going on YouTube. Well, that's doing terrible. What's going on YouTube? Get back with another tech review. That was terrible. Same problem I had with the 30L. Again, not sure if it's the computer or the software, because this is the free version, so could be the software. Not really sure. What's going on, YouTube? Yeah, it did okay. Anyway, just trying to show that it can edit videos. Uh, I'm not going to get too in-depth with the edit of the video. So, that's pretty much it about this video. I just wanted to show and talk about a few things with this. Uh, HP Omen 15. I think it's a great laptop, and I actually got it for a really great price. Um, I, take, I really got it for like right at 1000 It was already on sale. And... Um, I had some Best Buy rewards that I could cash in. So used that on that. Got it for right at $1,000, which was great. So more on the HP Omen coming up, the 15 and the 30. Um, we're going to start doing some car videos now that the Texas heat is breaking down a little bit. We're going to get out in the garage and get back on the car, some some. Uh, we're going to do some, you know, proper washing techniques. We're going to do some buffing. We're going to do some ceramic coating. We're going to do brake pads. We're going to do all kinds of stuff. So tune in. Stay tuned. Heart Media. T-Heart here. Catch you next time.